Nowadays, everyone uses the term GPS. That stands for the Global Positioning System, which is a constellation of satellites orbiting the Earth. These satellites send down a signal that allows us to locate our position on the Earth. The most common use of that is in our map apps and our cell phones. We need at least four satellites to be able to accurately locate our position and give us our time. The GPS in our cell phones is only accurate to a few meters. If we're doing a geophysical survey, like a gravity survey, we need accuracy down to the centimeter or even the millimeter. To do that, we need something called DGPS or differential GPS. The differential GPS system uses two instruments. It has a base station and a rover. The base station remains stationary and collects the signal from the satellites and does, allows us to do a correction for the atmospheric effects. It then beams the data to the rover station, which collects data in the field. If we do this in real time, we call it a real-time kinematic survey. Here, Umpofana and Saliswa are setting up the differential GPS base station. This involves setting up over a known point on a solid rock so that you have a good position. The first thing to do is to attach the leveling plate to the tripod. You also want to ensure that the tripod legs are secure. When screwing on the leveling plates, use the screw on the bottom and tighten it carefully. Make sure the legs are secure by tightening the brackets on the tripod. Sorry. You can adjust their position as you roughly level the tripod. You then want to level the leveling plate with the three screws on the sides. Finally, you will look through the eyepiece to see where the position is underneath. You can use your foot on the ground to see where the position is that the eyepiece is seeing. You then attach the radio and the radio battery to the legs of the tripod. The radio antenna bracket has a clamp on it that you need to use. Don't try to unscrew this. You simply unlatch the clamp and clamp it to the tripod. You can then attach the base of the radio antenna to the bracket. You then put the extension pole on top of the leveling bracket. You will need to plug in the radio and plug the radio into the battery. Then you can attach the antenna to the radio. Finally, you want to attach the antenna assembly to the base of the antenna. This screws on in two separate sections. You can leave the plastic support on or take it off. You then need to attach the GPS antenna to the top of the extension pole. Be sure to screw this on carefully because you don't want to cross thread the screws. You can then plug in the radio to the GPS antenna. You then need to carefully measure the height from the bottom to the top of the antenna. This is done with a tape measure and there'll be a position marked on the GPS antenna where you should measure to. Be sure to put the tape measure away in the case. It's very important that you don't lose that. Here on Pofana is also putting on the small antenna just to show where it goes. 
Be sure to put all of your papers and cases into the large Pelican case and then close it securely. Finally, you're going to want to link the rover to the base station.